Hey guys, what's up? Passive Butter here. We are now in this first game of this March 8, 2022 NBA game day. Let's talk about this game. Brooklyn Nets with a record of 32 wins and 33 losses visiting Charlotte Hornets. Uh, well, you know what? They got a, they got the same record, 32 and 33. The game will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings first so that we'll have a look, a closer look at these two teams. Um, hold on. As always, my phone is, um, you know, <laughs> it's acting up. Hold on. My phone knows how to delay my stuff, you know. Because it wasn't, it wasn't like this when I haven't turned the video on. But here we go. All right. Starting with the Charlotte Hornets, they are at number eight in the uh, uh, in the Eastern Conference. Um, where their last uh, for their last ten games, they have won four, and but approaching uh, this game, they are on back to back wins. So yeah, I mean yes, um, their last ten games may seem to you know may seem to show that uh, they are inconsistent, and they have been inconsistent uh, you know lately. But again, approaching this game, they have. Uh, they have gone two wins straight. Brooklyn Nets right behind them at number nine. For their last ten games, they have won only three. But man, Brooklyn Nets, they have been in the slump, having four-game losing streak. All right, so on this game, Charlotte Hornets would have the home court advantage. In terms of momentum, you got to give it to Charlotte Hornets as well because, again, they are having this back-to-back -back wins. In terms of fatigue, well, both teams rested yesterday. Let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. For Brooklyn Nets, uh, Joe Harris, Ben Simmons, LaMarcus Aldridge, and David Duke Jr. won't be playing. So that's a total of four players out, plus Cam Thomas uh, is questionable for this game. If you can remember, there was this loose ball, and he was trying to, you know, he was trying to get that ball, but you know, he couldn't make it because his uh, back actually uh, got hurt. So four players out, possibly five, depending on Thomas's situation. Now for Charlotte Hornets, there are actually um, uh, two players who are listed out. Uh, those would be Gordon Hayward and Book Knight, and then Jalen uh, Jalen McDaniel's uh, is listed as questionable for this game. Again, two. Confirmed out for Charlotte, possibly three, depending on McDaniels' situation. Alright, so I'm looking at the spread. It actually opened with Brooklyn minus five, but maybe because of you know some injuries and all and updates and all that. Uh, as we speak, it is now at minus three. Still for Brooklyn. Alright, well. Brooklyn Nets haven't really won uh, ever since uh, KD uh, started playing. But as you can see, uh, KD is still KD, you know. Uh, he can still shoot th those three, drive to the basket, uh, get those fouls, and still uh, make N1s. Uh, shoot those free throws as if, you know, uh, he's actually uh, m making layups. Um, he, you know, he just really need he just really needs some, you know, some backup and, you know, a perfect situation. And for me... This is the this is their perfect opportunity to get their first ever win, um, ever since uh, KD uh, uh, comes came back. Um, I mean, no disrespect to Charlotte Hornets, especially now that they are you know they, they are in a roll. You know they're they're starting to pile some wins. They are in back to back wins and all that. But I'm looking at the matchups. It seems to me that Brooklyn Nets' is a stars. I'm of course I'm talking about KD and I'm talking about Kyrie Irving. It seems like Charlotte Hornets would, wouldn't really have some sort of uh, defenders for those two. I mean, yes, they can actually switch. They can actually uh, put on different uh, different defenders on those two. But, uh, I mean, I, I think if only Brooklyn Nets would really take advantage of those mismatches, especially on KD, man, I, I, I think Charlotte Hornets would be up for, you know, for a long night.
I know Charlotte's style sometimes is that, you know, you make a basket, I'm going to make a basket as well. Um, but that won't really, you know, that won't really work for this, you know, for this kind of team, Brooklyn Nets. Um, as, as you can remember, Brooklyn Nets versus Boston Celtics. I even thought that Brooklyn Nets would win that, would win that. But due to uh, Jason Tatum and Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown's, you know, uh, performances, uh, Brooklyn Nets uh, um, ended up as losers. But against Charlotte Hornets, I think they wouldn't really have a problem. Um, I think I, I think for this uh, for this game, um, it would be better for uh, Drummond to be given more minutes. I, I noticed that um, on the on the on their last game, seems like Claxton even played more minutes than uh, Drummond. I know Drummond doesn't look like you know he doesn't look like the Drummond that he was years back, but he can still he can still contribute. You know, he gets a lot of rebounds. He he defends. He gets those points. Um, you just really need to give him give give him more minutes, and he will give you more, uh, you know, more production. I guarantee you that, man. Um, but because Aldridge will be out, I think I think that will happen in this game. Again, going back to the going back to this uh, prediction, I think it will be Brooklyn Nets covering the spread minus three. I'm an, I'm gonna go all in on this one. Brooklyn Nets minus three. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.